The following is a presentation of TFNN. Time to talk about your health. Living a primal lifestyle. Yeah, we have Tom on t from Tampa on the phone. Hey, Tom. Good morning. It's bright and early now, huh? Hey, hey thanks. Good. Hi, Tom. How are you guys doing? Nico? Good, great. Good. Hey, um, your newsletter is outstanding, man. I'm, I'm telling you, man, it is outstanding. And so is the run of my I love that stuff. I'd never be without it. I mean, I've been on it now three, four months, man. I mean, it's just I can't get over how good I feel. Primal Edge is, uh, you know, people are raving about it. People who are trying it, they know because you can feel it. We'd not be without it. Call now. Toll free at one 877 Nine two seven six six four eight internationally at seven two seven four four five one zero four four. Now your hosts, Nico Dehan and Paige Clark. Good morning, I'm Nico Dehan. Welcome to Living a Primal Lifestyle, where we explore a return to a more balanced, natural, wild world. That's right, to recover our natural health and regain our rights and freedoms. Good morning, I am Paige Clark. That's a beautiful morning in downtown Clearwater, 67 degrees and sunny, going up to about uh, 83, 84 degrees, and uh, springtime is here. That's right, we're enjoying it. If you uh, would like to pick up our Health Signals newsletter, we'd love that. You can stay connected uh, in your inbox twice a month, $10 a month. Yep, two All the news issues you can on use the first, to stay healthy. First and Tuesday, first and third Tuesday of every month, and of course we talk about all the things that uh, we research here. Mm. Uh, good article about why your cells functioning and not genetics determine disease. Really, a good article we talked about a couple of weeks ago, and uh, this I gives saw you a lot really of information. I saw a real cool meme the other day. I think I saved it. Maybe I'll find it. It was talking about the difference between the germ theory and the train theory, and it was like one of them you clean the cage. Uh -huh. You know, you clean the, the right. bull. Right. The other one, you know, you vaccinate the bull. <laughs> you know, you inoculate the bull. Well, what, what, which one would be better? Clean it out. Yeah. You know? Seems like same kind of thing. thing to me. Uh, yeah, it's a beautiful day, and the uh, number here is 877-927-6648. You can always reach us after hours at nico at tfnn.com. Or page at tfnn.com. So, uh, yeah, join the show if you're up and at it. Nico. This is kind of interesting. Uh, I saw this article in the feed you put in, Six Reasons Why You're Always Hungry. Well, you know, we always say part of the real uh, liberating part of our diet that we're on is that we're d we aren't hungry. Yeah, when you're living a more primal lifestyle, you're eating more of the natural human diet. You tend to be satiated. Yeah. and keep stable blood sugars. So the grazing and nibbling and munching is not as common. And it's funny that you put this because I, I notice on the weekends, uh, people in my family tend to be little nibblers and you know, so. accidentally eat a pancake or you know mm -hmm. a box of cookies or crackers or something. Well, you're out of your regular routine and you kind of feel liberated. So maybe that's, aha, uh -huh, yeah, now I can do this. You have time on your hands, well, that too. too. Yeah, yeah. yeah, a little bit too much time. It's kind of like this gal. Can you click on that picture? Sure. She's looking in the refrigerator. I mean, how many of us have done that at times? You're like thinking. You know, what is it? Is there something in there that's calling my name? Yeah, well, I see lots of things. I see the orange juice right here that could spike your sugar. Mm -hmm. But I found this interesting because today a lot of people are hungry all the time, and uh, we see them reaching for snacks. Many times uh, an hour later after eating, and it's not just a coincidence that they feel ravenous. Yeah, you know, my wife and I have been going on this five-mile walk. We even see people carrying little bit of, bits of food around. They're going for their two, three, ten mile, whatever it is, but we don't even take water with us. Right, right. You know, I mean, everybody's carrying water. We get this fan fantasy of that we need all this water and we need all this food all the time. And the fact is that our primitive ancestors, if we look at the data, they weren't that hungry. They don't drink lots of water. They don't carry water around with them, except maybe in desert communities type mm -hmm. of thing. But in desert communities, they know where to go to get the water. So you don't need to carry it around. Uh, I think we have a, a kind of upside down world where everything is. Oh, I agree with you. Yeah, it's kind of driven by consumerism. It's driven by the need to sell things, the need to sell cars and food and clothing. Uh, you know, we have probably enough clothing. Uh, that uh, ancient man would look at our closet and say, "Oh my God, what do you need this for? You, you, where do you, where, how do you carry this stuff? I mean, you know, what are you doing with all this stuff?" It does appear that when you really kind of try and look like an observer, an outsider, and you look at the way we live, it's yeah. got to look insane. It does. You know, <laughs> the world we're shoving the natural world out and creating this 
little box type communities for ourselves and for all the other people in it with all these things that look alike. You go to every single city in America and you'll find the same type of mall with the same look of the buildings. I noticed the trend in the last 20 years that, you know, we used to have the uh, roofs kind of low in uh, businesses and now the trend is to make the building look big. Mm -hmm. So it looks more attractive. So you, if you see the big building next to, and it's the same size building inside, but if you see the big building next to the small building, you're going to go into the big building mm -hmm. because it's bigger, it's fresher. Wide you know. open spaces. Yeah, so everything is driven by consumerism, and I think our diets are also, and our whole lifestyle is, is built this way. Well, it's kind of like the refrigerator's gotten bigger, the cabinets have gotten bigger, the pantry has gotten bigger, and it seems that certain habits or health conditions may be contributing to your constant need to eat. And is it because we have these constant habits of feeling like we have to have 50 choices? Mm -hmm. You know, are we stimulating ourselves? You know, if you don't have as much food in there, maybe you don't feel like you have to eat all the time. I don't know. <laughs> that might be the you know, case. But... You remember I had... Um, uh, our refrigerator was broken, and it's a built-in, so they're kind of pricey to replace. Oh, yeah. Whew. And and so I, I I really went through a college try to get mm -hmm. this thing repaired, and it ended up paying off. I mean, it still cost us a lot of money to repair it, but there were weeks where we didn't have any groceries because, you know, when the refrigerator broke and the compressor broke, it was like we had to throw everything out, and we were living out of cooler. Finally, I went and got a small refrigerator, but it was a little bit liberating because yeah. there weren't so many choices in there. It was like... Let's just get down to the basics and, yeah. and shop more frequently mm -hmm. and get fresh things because how many things do you buy thinking you're going to cook it and then you have an event you have to go to or someone invites you out and the next thing you know, you, you get rid yeah. of food. When we did our kitchen, uh, we had a guy help us design our kitchen. I told him kind of what I wanted and then he kind of built it and he said, you know, if we're going to have a refrigerator in here, have the regular refrigerator and then we'll design the cabinets around it instead of the other way around because you're going to replace that refrigerator before the cabinets. Yes, right. So make it a lot less expensive to just put a regular refrigerator there. But you're right, the refrigerators, the first one we got, I remember, was probably smaller than I was. Yeah. And now, well, and now if I can you, climb inside twice. You know, like. If you go to Europe, a lot of people, um, you know, they their refrigerators are small because they walk to the market and they buy fresh food every day. Right. Although I would rather see a larger refrigerator than a bigger pantry. To me, pantry is, is processed food with the exception of... Yeah. survival or preparedness food but in general the food that you're storing away in a pantry is usually has some type of way that it is preserved whereas yeah, your refrigerator and, gives you more remember the original food. idea of the pantry was in winter time you're going to have less food yes. so you need to get it now storing it away for yeah, storing a rainy it away. so day. that's a good thing and canning itself is not a bad thing as long as you do the proper methods and the same with using jars and things like that so there's a lot of ways our ancestors did those things uh and uh, very successful because otherwise we wouldn't be here they that's wouldn't right. have lived through those hard winters that they had well listen when we come back we'll be taking a short break but you know, we know that there's some ways. Why are you hungry? We'll get to those. We kind yeah, of got off on a really sidetrack. It's a really important track. question to ask yourself because uh, we are constantly looking for food here. And, and, we'll, uh, and we'll give some people some, uh, some tips and some common uh, pitfalls that keep your tummy rumbling and possibly keep you uh, in the habit of overeating. Maybe nip it in the bud before it starts. So we'll stay right tuned. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionics, oil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated folic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every morning. morning. 
Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Page of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Techno Mental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Direction's daily S&P 500 bull and bear leveraged ETFs. Direction leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Nico and Paige take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Did you know that certain habits or health conditions may be contributing to your constant need to eat? But the good news is that knowing the trigger for your hunger will make you stop overeating before it starts. That's why it's crucial for these common pitfalls to keep, uh, yeah, you know, when they word things like this, the good news is knowing the trigger. And that's not true. Just knowing that, you know, your little triggers doesn't stop it. I yeah. mean, that's kind of a fallacy here. I mean, that doesn't make I think, any sense I think the me. idea is to look for some, some clues to things that might be keeping you from feeling satiated. Like, you know, you're not eating healthy fats. That might be an issue. Well, that's the one thing. And We've I, been explaining that for a long time, that that actually helps to keep you satisfied. Yeah, and it says here to stop fearing fat, especially the good fats. And this is another thing that always gets my goat, in a sense. Healthy fats, such as monounsaturated fatty acids found in olives, avocado, nuts, never are they going to say here for animal fat. Yeah, they They're, should be saying, or by eating a nice juicy steak that's, you know, full of the natural yeah. fat that came So even with here, it. we got a nice article that really goes into some things in depth, but yet they skirt the whole issue. But of course, it's written by issue. Amy Gorin, that's MS right. and registered dietitian. That's right. Um, owner of Amy Gorn Nutrition, she recommends including a source of healthy fats with each meal and snack. So folks, you know, maybe you can look to the plant kingdom to get some sources of fats, but we're really supposed to look towards the area of our foods that where things come naturally. Well, the, the case Not is so contrived. if you're going to use vegetables and uh, nuts and fruits and things like that for your fat sources, you're going to be overeating. Mm-hmm because you're going to have to consume a lot of these things. A lot of them don't even break down very well in our body without the saturated fat. Remember, last year we were talking about how saturated fats helps the other fats digest in our body. And that's what a lot of people are missing. And I see so many uh, people that are following a vegan diet that end up having gallbladder issues because right. they're not able to metabolize these these um, these other fats. Yeah, because two we things that to contribute to that, I think. Is, one is the diet sodas have a real bad reaction to gallbladder because everybody I know that's been having uh, issues with gallbladder drinks diet sodas. Mm -hmm. The other thing is, like you said, it's uh, you're using plants instead of 
uh, animal fat. Yeah. Animal fat is the basis for everything, and it allows everything else to work better. So you have to start with that, and that's why uh, part, part of the reasons why I brought out this uh, article, because part of it's really good. Mm -hmm. But then they kind of skimp on the well, details. That's what you and I do here is we uncover a lot of the health mm -hmm. half-truths. Yeah. A lot of the half-truths we see. Uh, and again, a lot of it is our opinion and what's worked sure. for us and we're sharing with you. But let's get on. Uh, you're skimping on sleep. That and, could be one of the issues of and, why you're always hungry. Yeah, and I think we're not intentionally skimp skimping on sleep. It's just our lifestyle is so busy. We have jobs. We have certain regimens that we have to follow because we have children to go to school we have your family to take care of you have to work eight or ten hours uh, it seems like it's getting longer and you know the big pipe dream in the 1960s was it's working less uh, and uh, well, that's not happening more. for most people research no. suggests that sleep deprivation alters the hormone that controls appetite regulation and makes you feel hungrier throughout the day well we've been learning a lot of this from Jack Cruz's work on the circadian clock and 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 getting our our, our body clocks on schedule so that we produce the melatonin for rejuvenation and the proper balance of ghrelin and leptin to uh, hanger, hanger, uh, hanger, <laughs> handle <laughs> hunger yeah. and so forth. And what can you do to make sleep more of a priority? Like you said, so many people are finding it a hard time, but I'll tell you what I noticed. What? Had a couple, you know, young 20-somethings over my house this weekend and noticed they went to bed, got up in the morning, and they were falling asleep watching a movie in the morning. And I was like, why are they still tired? Mm -hmm. Because they probably were up late looking at the screen. Uh -huh. And, you know, if you don't get... Um, the proper light signals into your eyes, you're not going to secrete the right hormones at the right time, and you're not going to get that regenerative sleep. I agree. Now, it says here, too, uh, he says, what can you do uh, to make sleep a little more of a priority? He says, uh, suggest when you're tired, exercise to increase energy, uh, put hunger at bay, and sleep more soundly at night. Now, if you're tired and then you start exercising, Maybe it's closer to bedtime. It's Did not a you good notice time. there was no recommendations for light management? No, there's nothing in here about no, 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 nothing here in this article, which came, I'm sure, from a food network, you know, kind of a mainstream news source. Uh, they're just not cutting edge, folks. They're not sharing with you that it's really your light type that are destroying your ability to sleep, rejuvenate, and manage your hunger signals or mm -hmm. your hormones. Because yeah. your hunger signals are in fact hormonal and hormones are controlled by light. So, yeah, so I don't suggest, if he means exercising during the day, but it says here specifically suggesting that if you feel tired to increase your... Yeah, I don't, I, I don't agree with that. I agree that, you know, get yourself some blue blocker glasses, move mm -hmm. away from the TV, maybe light a candle, yeah. flip through a book, he take says, that Epsom salt at bath. At night, you can pick up a white noise machine. Those seem to help. Uh, humidifier helps. Reading a book, there you go. That's the old mm -hmm. standard right there. By candlelight, if you can, or at least, the, you know, not the blue light. But yeah, but the TV light. and this constant stimulation yeah. from these electronic devices are, are ruining our hormone secretion, and that's really how we get our hunger and yeah. rest and repair and signals. So take the TV out of the bedroom for sure. Mm -hmm. We never have a TV in the bedroom. That's a good one. The next thing in uh, consuming too many artificial sweeteners. I like this part of it because uh, a lot of times they say, well, you're eating too much sweets. But actually eating too much of the sweeteners gives you kind of the same effect. You're kind of fooling your body. You're f making yourself kind of feel good because, hey, I'm doing the right thing here, but you're really not. Well, a lot of research is showing that these artificial sweeteners mess with your brain chemistry. Mm -hmm. And they actually create, they, they do not necessarily stop the hormonal cascade right. uh, of insulin. They so may really what you're triggered. saying, they, they disrupt the hormones. It all comes back to the, the hormones. Yeah. Everything's a yeah. hormonal symphony. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it, 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 for those who still have a Diet Coke habit, I can't believe there are people that still drink that stuff. This may be the saddest news of all. It's best to try to kick the habit all together. And if that seems daunting to you, try replacing diet soda with seltzer waters. Or what are those? What's the name of those waters that are uh, Zevia? 
um, or LaCroix waters. They're sparkling waters with a little flavor. Yeah, you can put a little fruit in it. For that matter, buy your own. Buy your own sparkling yeah. mineral water and put a little splash of yeah. pomegranate juice or something just to give it that flavor, but you'll still get the bubbles and the taste without all those hunger inducing fake sugars. Yeah, and people uh, who consume the diet sodas also overconsume because of the fact that they think they're kind of getting away with something. So I see people who have a habit of diet sodas or any sodas, as a matter of fact, usually don't have stop at one can a day. It's usually two or three or four or five or more. Uh, I've seen people just downing these things. Yeah, I think it becomes a it and becomes an addictive habit. It's certainly not uh, anything to do with thirst. Yeah. It's certainly not. It maybe has to do with a little bit of hunger. Maybe you think you're quenching the thirst. Maybe downplay the hunger. Hunger, and you think if it's liquid, it's going to get out of you a little bit sooner. Perhaps uh, that if you're on a diet, it says diet on there. That's really good. I'm drinking it. It's liquid. It's not adding to my bulk. Wrong. No, it's, it's, uh, it's really it's, messing up your it's body. It's a completely. real big player in in creating uh, chaos in your body's clock and you staying healthy. So we're going to give you some more tips of how to fight those hunger feelings. So stick with us and pick up some Primal Edge while we're on the break and stay healthy. like to tell you about the personal training studio that Nico is the owner and president of, Performance Training. Since 1998, Nico has trained individuals and groups to improve their health both mentally and physically. As a certified personal trainer, Nico's main focus is on demonstrating exercises correctly to avoid injury and teaching his clients how to manage their past injuries while getting the most out of their personal training sessions. The Performance Training Studio is filled with unique training equipment that enhances balanced results at a faster rate while minimizing damage and discomfort. For more information, you can give Nico a call at 727-418-8740 or email him at nico at tfnn.com. Let him know you heard him on TFNN and save up to $100 on a special package just for TFNN listeners. Act today. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. Has the current market volatility continued to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. And welcome back. Uh, we're discussing six reasons why you're always hungry. And Here's the final one. You're stressed. Yeah. Anyone who's dealt with stress and who hasn't uh, can tell that's one of the first reactions to eat. 
incessantly. Yeah, well, the stress hormones of cortisol just kind of keep that hunger uh, driving force just in full gear. Yeah. Research has found that many people tend to consume more calories when stressed than when calm. For the sake of your health and your waistline, try to stress, uh, reduce stress with exercise, journaling, or yoga. Real simple. Yeah. Well, of course, we're in an overstressed world. I mean, we're completely stressed. Uh, our kids are not getting the right education. I was reading a thing on they're trying to bring back cursive writing. I didn't know it ever left. But I guess they for years they haven't been teaching children. Oh, that whole common core school thing. It's it's designed to keep our kids um, you know, kind of dumbed down where they're not really learning or using creative uh, creative thinking skills. It's kind of yeah, scary. Yeah, and, and uh, cursive and I'm not a great writer as far as you know having nice handwriting. I'm kind of like a doctor of the house that never got his doctor's degree. But uh, I think it's important that you know how to write. I mean, this means that those kids could not read read the original Constitution or the Bill of Rights, because those were all cursive. Yeah, well, and it seems like that must be the problem. <laughs> nobody nobody <laughs> reads point. it, especially our elected officials aren't reading yeah, it. No you know? I mean, I, don't, sure. I mean, I think it's so funny. People like to, uh, uh, there's, there's nothing about our legal system that is based on constitutional law. It looks like yeah. there's been a complete abandonment of it. But let's get yeah. back on track. Another reason you may be eating all the time is you're dehydrated. There's a book out called Your Body's Many Cries for Water, and that's the truth. Many of us are simply dehydrated and need to rehydrate. And again, I liked what you said earlier, Nico. Uh, you know, some people are afraid to take a walk for an hour without some water. Mm -hmm. I, you know, primitive man didn't necessarily care about water. He was thirsty, he found a creek, and then he drank, yeah. and then he moved on. Yeah, the you know, carried with had him. it fresh with him where he is. Oftentimes, you know, your dehydration actually masks itself as hunger, and in turn, this can cause you to eat in excess calories, and all you really needed was some water. Yeah, the best way to tell whether you're uh, uh, hydrated properly or not is to check the color of your urine. That's uh, called biofeedback. It's yeah, natural pale, best. Yeah, the pale yellow color indicates uh, proper uh, hyd uh, hydration, while the dark apple cider vinegar color means that you're dehydrated. Right. So in those cases, try to drink water before you sit down for a meal. Then mixed thoughts on that. Some people feel that might dilute your um, hydrochloric acid a little bit. Could Other people think it could. might stimulate it because there is H2O is, yep. you know. Um, well, I think uh, you don't want to gulp a bunch of water and then sit down and right away and eat. Maybe about 20 minutes before, drink a little water. I like, I like taking water as your body tells you that you need it. Mm -hmm. makes and sense. to also try and take it in small bouts. Mm -hmm. You can cre create bloat or interference. You know, set a little alarm. We've got these iPhones reminding us about everything. Set a little alarm every half hour or something with a cute little bell that is sort of your, you know, sip uh, alert. Yeah. So that you maybe take a, a sip of your water. And here's another suggestion by the author. says, also incorporate lots of produce into your day. After all, many fruits and vegetables have 90% water. That's well, right. yeah, Distilled but also water. Uh, meat is 50% uh, water also. So, mm -hmm. you know, there's water everywhere. Uh, and the recommendation here, eat lots of fruits and vegetables. If you do that, I don't mind you doing that. I would say do it in the afternoon or late afternoon. If you want any fruit and things like that, then you're less likely to spike the sugar in your body. So. And many times, you know, if you have a continued uh, unsatiable hunger, you may want to work with your medical doctor as part of your team. You could have a thyroid issue. Uh, you could be having um, other things going on. But again, thyroid hormone is a hormone, and hormones are controlled and released based on our circadian rhythm and getting in sync with nature and the metronome for our circadian rhythm is our sun. So if you're getting into the sun with your early morning sun, getting a little midday, getting a little sunset time, you're, you're allowing the light to enter your body and the light is signaling what time of day it is so that your body will then 
release the proper orchestration symphony of hormones that will keep you healthy. Yeah, very nicely put. Mm -hmm. uh, so we have a lot of problems in our modern era here because uh, we're not sleeping, we're overstressed, we don't have access to healthy food in many cases. I know if you're in a poor neighborhood, it's going to be harder to find, the, you know, real, real good food. However, if you're in the outskirts of town, you might be closer to it because your farmer is out there usually. Mm -hmm. So we have to really find creative ways in our modern world to stay satiated, not be hungry all the time. And when you're hungry, it really does uh, give you an indication that perhaps you're not eating the right way. Something is wrong here. And your because, clock's not on schedule. Yeah, because our natural state of being is not hungry. We probably didn't wake up hungry. We probably woke up and uh, we're up three, four, five hours before we even thought about eating something. Yeah, that's uh, true. Yeah, I don't think uh, our primitive ancestors, and when I say primitive, I don't mean that we're demeaning way. I think our primitive ancestors had it right. Uh, they had it right because they were born there. We've created an artificial world with artificial food and artificial all kinds of things. You, you know, we talk about all this stuff that's in the airways and more is coming with the 5G, a real problem. Some people are starting to wake up to that fact so it's it's being discussed at least but a lot of things are being pushed up on us that isn't natu not natural for us that could lead us astray one of the things is the advertising on TV yes. uh, you know uh, we've had a habit uh, when we do watch TV to race through those commercials or we've even found uh, some satellite feeds now when I was watching a hockey game when the commercial comes on it goes we'll be right back N National Football League so the, it's just much, so much nicer. All of a sudden, the TV goes off for like three to five or six minutes, nothing going on, and we don't have to touch anything. Oh, wow. thought, what a revelation this is. So one of these uh, little... Uh, Bet you those advertisers don't like that. They probably don't, and they're going to have to change, and this is why, of course, advertising is moving to the World Wide Web in a big way. Well, they're and now embedding their advertisements in your football. When you're sitting there watching your football, your hockey game, mm -hmm. the message is being subliminally fed into your brain through yeah. advanced mind control things that have been going on for years. Sure, because you can't watch a football game or a hockey game with a bunch of food uh, without a bunch of food and drinks in front of you. That's mm -hmm. the that's the American way, isn't it? I can see the picture, you know, here we have the Sunday night football or Saturday night or Monday night whenever it was and you have to have your popcorn and your beer or your soda and everything. It's just this is the way our society has really uh, put us on the wrong path. And it's because of advertising, it's because of the system that we have. And, well, there's uh, a commercial reason for the advertising, and that's because our country is not, we do not have a government that's run by the government. We, we, we're a corporation. We're a corporate, you yeah. know, we're technocracy, corporocracy. Yeah. And, you know, the whole, Fascism, United, States, the, the whole United States is a corporation. And beyond the United States, the whole world is, all the countries are. So we may think that, you know, we're making some headway in our governmental structure, but that's been abandoned a long time ago. Anyway, uh, what's not abandoned is our break, and I want to remind people, please pick up our Health Signals newsletter right here, and I've, uh, this brand new one is f chocked full of stuff that you need to read, folks, if you want to be healthy. Of course, our Primal Edge, 310 organic cell-ready ingredients, all to make you healthy. So we'll be right back. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionics, oil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated folic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every morning. morning. 
Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Page of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. No matter what kind of trader you are, 2018 is a great time to try out a subscription to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. Whether you just plan on diversifying your portfolio with some exposure to gold and gold mining equities, or you're a gold bull that sees 2018 as the year of commodities, now is a great time to sign up for the Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his Gold Report every Monday morning before the market opens and covers a variety of topics including gold, silver, platinum, copper, the X. XAU and HUI, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as more than 20 of the most actively traded mining equities. Start your 2018 off with a bang and sign up for The Gold Report today. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. For all the details and to start your subscription right now, visit the front page of TFNN.com and you'll find The Gold Report under Investment Newsletters. Are you an options trader that's looking for that extra edge when placing trades? David White will be hosting a webinar on May 16th, which is the Wednesday leading up to Options Expiration Friday in May, where he'll discuss in depth the methodology he uses for trading options near expiration, including swing trading setups and expiration day trading scenarios. Subscribers to each of Dave's newsletters, Path of Least Resistance and The Technology Insider, gain access to this 60 minute webinar, which will be archived if you cannot attend live. Dave has had some great Great option trades recently for his subscribers. See for yourself the trading methodology he uses when trading options by signing up today for either of his newsletters and we'll see you Wednesday, May 16th at 5 p.m. for option trading near expiration, analyzing swing trades and expiration day scenarios. For all the details and to sign up today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. And welcome back to Living a Primal Lifestyle. Nico and I have been talking about the importance of our circadian rhythm in helping to balance out our hormones so that we can stay healthy. It's not just about... Uh, circadian rhythm it's about temperature it's not just about light in other words light is real important in our circadian rhythm but also so is time and so is temperature and uh, cold is really catching on these days using cold thermogenesis as a health tool and uh, a podcast um, speaker was actually talking with Mark of Mark's Daily Apple, and he said that the first thing he mentioned was his his habit of giving himself exposure to cold in the morning. He basically starts his morning uh, with a shower, a three-minute stint of water, as cold as it can get. Wish we could get that here in Florida. Mm -hmm. Our water doesn't even come out cold out of our, our tap. Well, it's, it is right now still. It's still cold. A little bit, but not. Yeah. it definitely doesn't feel like it does when you're up north. No, it doesn't because up north it's 50 and here it's 70. Right, yeah. And uh, but this guy, Aubrey Marcus, said he mentioned the hormonal benefits, but it's also the mental edge he gets from psyching up and accepting the challenge instead of wimping out. <laughs> yeah, and a lot of people are using this uh, in jiu-jitsu. Uh, we have uh, people going to these Cairo places up in Tampa where uh, you're yeah, put the, into the a cold Yeah, the Cairo um, cryotherapy is, according to Cryo, Jack, yes. yeah, cryotherapy is not as effective yeah, as the water. I agree with that. The water creates a Faraday cage, which protects us from a lot of the electromagnetic yeah. frequencies. But he mentions the hormonal benefits, but he also mentions the mental edge he gets from psyching up. And when people engage in therapeutic cold exposure, they catch fewer upper respiratory infections and they feel better. And he says there are many elements of conventional wisdom, but the old wives' tale is backwards. You know, the idea that, um, oh, don't catch a cold. Right. You know, right. it's really backwards. It's the complete opposite. You, and, and we're finding out more and more that we live in an upside down backwards world. <laughs> you know, of course, what we're talking about is the acute and optimal duration of cold dis uh, exposure, not prolonged exposure right. to elements that weaken your resistance and contribute to immune immune disturbances. We call this the 
the theory of hormesis. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Yeah, and a lot of people are going overboard. They're going to these uh, centers which get really, really cold, and then they're wearing a hat and mittens and things like that. Mm -hmm. And those are nice experiences, and I, I don't think it hurts you to go into those things. And certainly for injuries, they do help. But uh, one thing that I know that Jack Cruz was always saying to you was that the water is the key to this cold. So even if it's 90 degrees here and I jump in my pool, which is 70 or 75, I'm getting that uh, You are getting effect. cold thermogenesis. You're getting yes. that drop in temperature. Temperature, And, you know, as with keto or any diet that we're making a change, there's much more to learn. This is a burgeoning field right. of growth. We're learning a lot about these, quote-unquote, biohacking. And today, you know, we're going to talk a little bit about some important concepts and some basic best practices that you can use that can help you enjoy and catapult yourself into some of the benefits and perhaps uh, avoid some of the negative consequences of not applying these techniques properly. Yeah, and of course, cold, cold therapy has been around for a long time. Yeah, we've seen pictures and. Uh, Remember that video we put in of the Russian children? Yeah, they, yeah, that they, was, they, they just going outside and getting in the snow. They kind of strip down from their regular yeah. indoor clothes and they yeah. go and play. Yeah. And get that cold exposure. And then we see athletes, you know, getting their elbow, or sometimes they dunk themselves in it, and this is where it, it kind of started. And any time I've had an injury, cold has played a major role in uh, rehabbing and getting my getting me back on the mat. Yeah, the it sports really world, they've work. always kind we've of always used kind of cold therapy, yeah. football, the and ice we've pack. we use heat, too, but when you come down to it and you put that cold pack on, once you're over that initial shock of it touching your skin, then it does really feel good. I and have to admit, Nico, remember when I went skiing just a couple weeks yeah. ago remember I told you that I wiped out yeah. and uh, trying to do a black slope I wasn't quite ready and and I just did what I I went down to go get in this in the sauna mm -hmm. but that night that sauna really stimulated the pain oh, in a sure. bad way yeah. it was a bad thing yeah. and I ended up putting ice on it and was all better yeah. the next day. In fact, if you're going to do both, you, uh, if you're going to do heat, do the cold afterwards. Yes. Do a little bit of heat for the healing, get the heating process started, and put the cold on there. But cold, of course, is uh, contract. It contracts mm -hmm. you. So we're getting rid of inflammation. Huge thing. You know, when you're hurt, that inflammation is there trying to fix things. So a lot of people in the sports world have always argued, well, if it's there to try to fix things, why are you putting cold on it to try to stop that from happening? But the concern, of course, is the swelling and the overswelling, which damages things. So first we have to get the swelling down, then we can reapply heat, then we can reapply cold. So these are good ways of doing it. Well, listen to this. Okay. Uh, Mark Sisson uh, is going to share. He, in writing Primal Endurance, one of his great books, yep. he and his co-author Brad Kearns, they studied cold therapy subject extensively, and they wanted to convey some best practices in the recovery chapter of the book. And so for this article that we're going to cover today, Nico and I are going to cover, we're going to talk about some of the concepts of cold therapy from a rehab, prevention, and performance standpoint, and for some of the cutting-edge strategies that will keep you moving optimally and avoiding the breakdown or yeah. the injury And issues. we're a little short on time, so I, really what I want to go over is what not to do. Yeah. more important than that's that a great later. idea yeah, yeah cause, because it does appear that while cold therapy can offer some proven benefits for inflammation control enhancing cellular immune and cognitive function recovery there's numerous elements of cold therapy seem to be hype and maybe an issue like these expensive cryotherapies right. you know when you can like get it simply yeah. jumping in your pool well, one of the most uh, empathetic uh, suggestions that it is cold therapy should happen far away from the stimulants of workouts so in other words you're using this because perhaps you've got an injury uh, so you want to wait a little while uh, before you apply that cold you don't do it immediately yeah it says well it feels soothing to wade into the icy river right after a run or to relax with an ice pack on your back after a basketball game that's not the time to do it that's a really good point not yeah. directly afterwards no you want to let your body cool naturally first and when you get back to homeostasis let's say that's the time to apply it yeah you might actually interfere with your body's own adaptive processes right. that's a good point yeah and uh, we do often see people immediately put ice on it mm -hmm. and I say wait that 15 minutes or so till your body is back to normal and then put it on and that's gonna yeah help allow you a it lot. to recalibrate to its own homeostasis yeah. And, uh, you know, really one of the things that we see that's 
a lot of the stuff that is so counterintuitive, it becomes intuitive. So consider now, it's widely understood that static stretching weakens muscles for up to 30 minutes and that you should not static stretch before workouts. That's right. That's interesting. Yeah, that's why I use movement with stretching. So it's much more natural. Your body, you know, everything that we do in our body is movement. So if you're using uh, isolated uh, type of uh, movements with uh, the stretching, you want that movement to continue. So it means holding it for maybe two seconds or less. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, static stretching works wonders in a lot of different ways, but not before competitions or not before exercising because it can just override that a little bit. Mm -hmm. Well, it says here, before we go to this break, it says uh, if you're trying to recover from or prevent injuries, massage, stretching, and foam rolling can make a valuable contribution even in and around workouts as directed by an expert. Mm -hmm. uh, good old ice is still a recommended treatment in the immediate aftermath of an acute injury you know, after a game. So let's continue and get some of these tips on how to keep cold therapy a healthy process you use. We'll be right back. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. Hi folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! No matter where you're listening to TFNN programming, you can always access your favorite shows on demand through TFNN.com. TFNN airs live programming every market day from 8 a.m. till 6 p.m. Eastern, and you can view each program by accessing Tiger TV through our homepage. We even have an easy link for all mobile devices, including iPhones, iPads, and Android devices. Located in the top right-hand corner of the TFNN homepage, you can use your smartphone to view Tiger TV. But if you don't have a connection that can keep up with streaming live video, then you can simply visit tfnn.mobi in the browser of your smartphone for live streaming audio of all our programs. The mission of TFNN is to educate our audience directly and interactively through our interactive website and call-in talk shows. TFNN is able to teach all levels of investors the technical skills needed to trade in today's marketplace. In order to get the best information possible, TFNN has assembled the most respected financial minds in the country to provide the most current news and comprehensive advice available. TFNN.com. Educating investors. So Nico and I have been talking about cold thermogenesis or cold therapy and some of the tips of what to do and what not to do. But back to cold therapy, it appears the greatest benefit accrued to the central nervous system, the cardiovascular system, and immune system rather than the muscles. I think that's a little bit of a surprise for people. I think yeah. they think this is a muscle therapy. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, yeah, and the other thing, too, is uh, instead of going to one of these cryo places, uh, Mark suggests, or the author here suggests, that uh, a freezer is a heck of a better investment. So if you get freezer, get ice in there, and, of course, you can use that ice to throw hey, it in your Hey, you flip bathtub. the freezer on its side, it acts like a big tub. And when is the best time for cold therapy? Allow for a minimum of a couple hours, preferably more after workouts, before introducing cold exposure. Yeah, I didn't realize it was that long, but the best time for this cold therapy is really first thing in the morning when you get up or before you go to bed. It really does help you sleep. It's a cellular and central nervous system energizer, yeah. and it really helps us, again, to create important temperature signals. So light and temperature can be very important in our hormonal cascade. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and here you go. It's the chest freezers. They're not just for your grass-fed beef anymore. That's right. We have a lot of friends that have bought those and used them, flipped them over, and they use them uh, as a way to have a cold polar plunge. Yep. Mm -hmm. That sounds uh, like a reasonable thing to me. I, I still think the 20 degree mark is uh, pretty good. So if it's 90 here and 70 in my pool, I'm pretty good with that. And I do feel the difference and I can feel that it is working. So that's the rod I'm taking most well, of the time. You can pick these up at used appliance places. But what you do is you take a 12 to 15 cubic foot top open chest freezer. You fill it with water and then run the motor on a timer for only around, around one and a half to four hours per day, depending on the power of your unit. Mm -hmm. and then, so you're not quite freezing it, you're mm -hmm. just keeping it cold. And then your desired cool. exposed temperature for a moderate investment of perhaps $200 on Craigslist, you can get an ample size unit, and you are in the cold therapy business. I've kind of got that. that idea of doing that in my garage. That is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. and, yeah, except I don't have any room in my garage, unfortunately. Yeah, I've got too much right. junk in there. I guess it's time to yeah, clean yeah, it Yeah, there's actually a picture here. I don't know if you can scroll down for the people. Here's a guy that's sitting in his chest freezer, see? Can you show the people? I'm coming to it, I think. Yep, there, he is. there he is. Chest freezer cold movie. water therapy. Yep. There you go. He's uh, showing you how he's got his... Yep. There you go. And then you've got the freezer. It's just... He's got it the outside. Lid down. Yeah, he's got it outside. So he looks forward to doing it. Probably got a, a plug right there. Very yep. economical. And there's a lot of people that are selling these cold polar plunges for like, you know, five, ten grand. Yeah. You can go and, go and buy a... A chest freezer. So you just keep it above, uh, you could probably keep it at 40 degrees, probably 50 degrees here in Florida, and you'd be okay. Right yeah, now. so we just want to let you know that using cold therapy, it really is uh, great to look at it as implementing it as a part of your daily routine. Mm -hmm. And we like the morning or the evening exposure, and they'll deliver those benefits without compromising your fitness adaptations. Yeah, and you can use this in conjunction with the sauna type of thing, too. I, I recommend using both. Sauna has different benefits, but uh, all of them are really good, and they really will enhance your performance and make you feel better and get rid of some of those aches and pains that you have and uh, help you sleep. Well, Mark's uh, comment here was, does cold exposure stimulate fat reduction? He kind of has a, hmm, we'll see. But according to Jack Cruz, uh, cold therapy can be, uh, cold thermogenesis can be a very effective tool. I think it starts the fat burning process. Well, you it, stimulates, the, it stimulates your BAT or your brown adipose tissue. Right. It's a special type of adipose tissue or fat that has a different role. It's metabolically active and it helps us to burn fat. So brown fat is able to generate heat to help maintain the body's ideal core temperature. So many people begin to really notice when they're doing cold thermogenesis, they, they're not experiencing the cold hands and cold feet and that kind of thing. Circulation's improving. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. It's uh, kind of cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So it's the right way to boost uh, your recovery rate. Uh, we've known this for quite a while, and uh, this is proof right here. So thanks for sticking around, folks. Really appreciate it. We'll see you on the next show. That's right. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. 
Thus was born the Chapman Wave Sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. You're watching Tiger TV. Thank you. 